गाइस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द जनरल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द किडनी किडनी इज अ बीन शेप्ड ऑर्गन व्हिच इज लोकेटेड इन टू द रेट्रोपेरिटोनियल मेम्ब्रेन और इन टू द एब्डोमिनल कैविटी इट इज इट स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम द T12 एंड एड एट द L3 एट द वर्टिब्रल कॉलम यू कैन से एट द बैक इन टू द बैक इफ वी सी बट इट इज कवर्ड बाय द T 11 and T12 uh, ribs which is known as a floating ribs and above the kidney this structure is known as a liver so the right kidney above the right kidney there is present of the liver and this is known as a spleen you can see this is a spleen so in the left kidney there is present of the spleen and on the both kidney this structure is known as adrenal gland this is a adrenal gland above the kidney there is present of the adrenal gland and on the left side there is present of the spleen on the right side there is present of the liver if we see the structure of the kidney you can see the left side of the kidney is upper than the right side of the kidney and if we see the structure of the kidney what's going on into the kidney basically consist of the three layers the first layer is known as a renal fascia the second layer is known as a adipose capsule and the most inner layer this one is known as a renal capsule adipose capsule this is a layer which play important role when the trauma occur and the adipose capsule it is the more sensitive to pain why it is more sensitive to pain because this present of the nocci receptor these nocci receptors are known as a pain receptor so if there is any injury any inflammations or any trauma occur these pain receptor give the message to the brain so the sensation of the pain happened to us this outer layer is known as a cortex and the inner layer is known as a medulla the cortex consist of the two layers more the layer which is toward the cortex this layer is known as a cortical layer and the layer which is toward the medulla this for r is a medulla this is known as a juxta medullary layer and into the medulla there is present of the medullary pyramids this structure is a medullary pyramid these are are a medullary pyramid there is present of the 10 to 15 medullary pyramids into medulla and this medullary pyramid consist of the base this is known as a base this is known as a base and this is known as a tip tip and this tip also known as a papilla this tip is known also known as a papilla and you can see this structure is like a nipple and this is also known as a like a nipple shape and some projection which is some projection which is extension from the cortex to the medulla this extension which is in between of the medulla medullary pyramid these in between of the pyramid these extension you can say these are the extension these extension are known as a renal column there is also present of the minor calyx and the major calyx this is known as a minor calyx and then it enter to the major calyx and then this structure all is known as a renal pelvis this is known as a renal pelvis this is all and this point this all point is known as a this all point is known as a renal hilum why this is known as a renal hilum there's entry and the exit of the renal artery vein lymphatic nerve supply and the ureter and this is known as a ureter this is all known as a ureter so, and from the ureter this will go into the we will see this all is a ureter and this ureter is a long tube like structure which is a muscular structure this and from the ureter this structure is known as a bladder this is also a muscular structure while when it is filled with the volume of the urine then the contraction occur with the help of the parasympathetic nervous system then the